Okay, this segment is on, is on outputting to a uh, photo lab or an online book printer like Blurb or um, Snapfish or something like that. This image here is taken in um, DNG format or Adobe RGB and it's a raw file. So we need to go up here and we need to change some of these things. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is, is I'm going to go to assign profile. Now since it's a larger color gamut it's going to really flatten up when I go into sRGB. See look at that what a difference. Now my goal here is to try and um, bring this back somewhat so I have to add a little bit more contrast to this scene and that gets me close. Now I got to go in here <clears throat> and add a little bit more red. And that looks pretty close to what I had before. All right. Now what I need to do is, is I need to make sure that my um, I need to go in here and where is it? Sharpen this image. And see I I had changed this to 75 before, so I'm going to leave it around there. Okay. We go to image, and we go here to image size. Now, all of uh, every, any of these companies that print in um, uh, four colors want it at 300 DPI. Um, like if you're outputting to uh, uh, some kind of color thing that was done on uh, Vistaprint or something like that, they wanted a 300 DPI as well. And in CMYK, so you'd want to go up here and, and uh, change this up here to CMYK. But in this instance, no, you don't want to do that. So now it's, it's pretty much ready. All you need to do is save this out as a JPEG file, um, just like I did with the other one. Uh, let's see. All right, I don't know, bricks, I guess you call it, underscore, and make it a JPEG and save it out like this. I'm going to call this bricks one. So basically, it's almost exactly the same as outputting to a photo lab, which I'm, that's what I'm doing. Outputting to an inkjet is completely different, uh, but outputting to a photo lab and online book printers is exactly the same. You want to output it as an sRGB JPEG at 300 dpi. Okay, that is outputting to photo labs and online 